Hello and welcome to another how-to video, but this time we're going to be talking about grass, uh, grass care in general, and also how to make the most of your grass fields. Um, and it has changed quite a bit in Farmer Simulator 22 from 19, and I do think, again, um, it's good that they've, they've added some uh, extras into it. So we're going to delve into it, we're going to learn as much as possible, and we're going to try and figure out what the best way to go about it is when it comes to the amount of grass you're getting and also how to look after it properply. So. First things first, I'm on Alan Grapp because obviously it is the perfect map for uh, to do grass work. It's got loads of grass fields, grass hills, and let's be honest, it pretty much looks stunning. So what better place to try and figure this all out? Um, I've got all the equipment that I think I need. It's all lined up, ready to go. Um, I have made two similar size fields. I was trying to get as close as possible. Um, on the left hand side is one that we're going to be working on ourselves because we're going to learn the difference between this grass that you'll see flying around on different maps and also on this map itself which is the meadow grass this is the grass that's standard within the fields um, whereas there is now a difference between the grass uh, that we plant um, which is the best type of grass to use when it comes to yield so if you're making like bales or if you're making silage in a bunker whatever it is you're doing hey anything like it's better to plant the grass and get the proper grass so for the purpose of this video let's just call that uh, let's call it feeding grass uh, or pasture grass or something like that and we'll call this meadow grass now let's get straight into meadow grass um, first things first we'll jump in the mower and we'll show you that uh, you can straight away start mowing oh god don't want to do that there we go so let's just do a bit of mowing we're on the meadow grass right now I'm going to turn the mowers on drop them down we'll do a straight line and you can see that uh, we can mow it and you get grass, not a problem. Um, the only difference is we can't do any fertilizer. Can't fertilize it. This ground itself where I've just mowed, which I will just show you over here, we'll, we'll get there, there we go. Um, you can see that uh, it needs plowing. So it's not got that effect, you can't, we can't fertilize it, we can't do lime on it. So to allow us to fertilize, this ground this this meadow grass for example and, and put some lime on it we're going to have to plow an area and then plant our own which then it wouldn't be meadow grass anymore it would then turn into the uh, the version that we are going to be working on which is as i'm calling just for the ep this purpose of this episode we're just going to call it pasture grass field grass or um, feeding grass so Quickly as well, what we'll just show you as well, if you do want to paint it into the ground, you can do that, but there is a, a small difference now between the two. So if you go on construction, uh, go on to landscaping, and then we're going to go to painting. Uh, there is a grass there, it says grass. Now, watch as I paint this down now. I'll try to get a bit of a bare angle, that's better. And we'll make it wider. If you paint it down, it's grass. So it is a textured grass, as you can see. Uh, but it's not the grass that we want. It's not the meadow grass. It will not grow back. It is just a texture for the ground itself. So if you do want to put grass down, this this meadow grass, you need to go to plants, and then this meadow, as it says there, and then obviously you can start, uh, yeah, painting it back in. And there it is. It's completely gone, like nothing changed. We didn't do any mowing, and there it is. So that's the meadow grass. So what I'm going to do is we're going to plant our own grass field here from the from the um, feeding grass and then we're going to mow this area as well and we're going to try and compare the difference uh, with the yield that's that's the way I'm going to do it just because then we can get an idea uh, the difference from just mowing up meadow grass um, and then mowing the grass that you create as a field yourself and you do all the work on so like I said these are similar areas they're probably not exact but they're very very close so it should give us a good representation now I've ploughed this it needs lime I've also got a mixture of stones. I think I've just got large stones. They do look like large stones to me, so we're going to have to go over this with the collector, which will put it into a cultivated state. Um, but we'll get through it one by one. Um, the first thing I'm going to have to do, though, is we're going to have to spread some lime. So let's crack on with that first. We're going to try and optimize this field out. It shouldn't take too long at all. It isn't massive. Right. 
Right, so I have spread line. All oh, that's all sorted out. Now we're going to go over it with the stone collector. This is going to change it into a cultivated state. So it is going to be difficult for me to make out exactly the lines here. But I'm going to be able to do it. It's just, as you can tell, the lime texture now doesn't disappear, which is pretty interesting. It will do when we start planting. Um, but, but for the purpose of what I'm doing right now, it just makes it a little bit more difficult. But I'll fly through this. I'll, I'll carry on anyway, get all these stones picked up, um, show you that it's changed into the cultivated state, um, and then I'll cut back in when we're going to be moving on to the next stage. Right, so that's that done, all set up. Now, I'm going to start planting the seeds in. Um, now, there is a bug, just so you're aware, of uh, the seeds going down tremendously quicker than they should do when you're planting grass. Now, I think giants are aware of this and uh, they are going to be sorting that out hopefully soon so if i just lower this you might notice that the seeds go down tremendously quick as you can tell but that should be all right um i can just keep filling it up it's not an issue this is only a small patch um of uh, grass we, we want to start planting in but yeah it's a uh, it's definitely quicker than it should be so all the stones are gone and we are just optimizing this now, taking into account everything that I learned from my video about how to maximize yield. Uh, we're going to do the, all the same thing, but then the only thing that's going to be different is um, when we get to the grass care itself. So when, the, when it's bedded in, um, what to do to, to look after it and uh, yeah, keep getting the maximum yield from it and uh, the new features that have also been added. So as you notice, it did actually get rid of the uh, meadow grass at the end, which is interesting. So what we can do quickly now is if I just go to growth types, you can see that grass is enabled. So you can see that the dark green is the proper grass. There is one field over there um, on this map starting off with. Now, there's also another one over there and one there. There isn't usually that many. On Elm Creek, there isn't hardly any, um, but you will see some. I guess as more maps come out as well, it really just depends on... Uh, the map creators and, and what they end up doing but it isn't changed anything over there that it's just got rid of that top meadow grass it hasn't actually done anything else uh, but it is growing so we have planted some grass as you can see so what i'll do is i'll get this finished off um, i probably will need some more seeds in a minute definitely 24 percent is flying through the seeds um, but i'll cut back in when i've done this and i'll talk to you about the next step Right, so there we go. We've got two fields of grass. We've got the field of meadow grass that's like standard. We can't do any fertilizing with that. We can't uh, spread slurry on it, for example. The, nothing's going to have effect on this. Uh, whereas this now, this grass that I'm calling uh, feeding grass, uh, we can. So we can spread fertilizer on this. Uh, we can look after the ground itself, lime. We can take care of it with the new pieces of kit that I've got over there that I'm going to show you. Um, and yeah, like I said, you can put manure and slurry on it. So it is important to have this grass type if you're trying to maximize on your grass yields. So it's going to be interesting to see the difference between that and this. They are quite similar, like I said, sizes. Um, but it is in the ground now. And if I just show you, you can see that it's growing. Um, it does start off in a quite dark green stage. It's like midway. So when you're planting this grass, it's not right down to the bottom. It starts off uh, with less, because it's obviously got less growth stages because it is grass and you, you do harvest it a few times in a year. That is the aim. Um, so yeah, grass in the ground, needs a bit of fertilizer. Um, so we'll get to that. Right, so now we've planted the seeds, what we need to do is roll it. Now we're looking for the roller. There is two types of rollers. There is one, which is like this um, in the menu. I'll just show you that so you can understand the difference between the two. So you've got a roller there, that's for fields. So as you've planted in a crop, so with, when you've sown in a crop, you wanna go over it with a roller to get a 5% uh, bonus on yield uh, whereas there is grass care which is this one there's some rollers in there which we're going to show you uh, so there is a difference between the two they do look similar uh, but the grass care ones are for grass fields after um, so not like we're doing now not after we've uh, planted in a crop they, they are for after when the grass is actually growing so we're going to just roll this seabed just to try and get five percent boost on it won't take long but it is going to improve the yield so I'll quickly just get this done um, and I'll cut back in when I'm on to the next stage 
Right, so I've, I have fertilised the whole of this field now. It's got one stage. I do need to do a second stage, uh, but we're not going to do that uh, traditionally by putting fertiliser down. We haven't got any manure or slurry. We could do that. I'd probably tend to do that on the first on the first go, to be honest, um, if I did have that instead of the solid fertiliser. But for the second go, we're going to wait for it to grow a little bit, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you um, what this piece of kit over here does, which is a grass care roller. And it also comes with a seeder, so we could have seeded with this as well. This is an option for grass. It only usually um, plants in grass. I think one of them plants in canola. I'd have to check, but I'm sure one of them plants in canola as well. Um, where are you there? So this one plants in canola as well as the uh, seed, oil seed radish, I think it's called. And this one's just a roller. This one's a roller, but also does oil seed radish without the canola. So this one does offer a lot more, um, but I tend to use this one just because it's bigger. Uh, but you can get the seeder on this, so if you go into configuration you can change it. So it's got the seeder on there, which will do, uh, like I said, the grass and uh, uh, oilseed radish. So I'm going to wait for it to grow. I'll cut back in when it's probably grown, um, not too much, but at least past the first or second stage and we'll, I'll show you exactly what you should be doing. Um, to get this to the next stage of fertilizing Right, so as you can see it's now grown uh, It's grown quite a bit and, and obviously quite quick It's only the next day, but that would be the next month So it's in September now and the grass is starting to grow as you can tell um, What I'm going to quickly do is I'm going to jump into the roller So let's unfold this out and I'll show you exactly what we should be doing now you can use the roller for this the small one that I've uh, got just over there just as you can see um, or you could use the one that also does the canola now they all do the same job uh, the only difference is you can also seed with it or plant with it so keep that in mind if you want to you don't need to use a seeder you can use these um, to do that now and if you can make it out but the texture's changed um, it's a little bit darker and we're kind of like rolling the grass down now they do this in real life um, basically what it does is it compacts the soil, makes the grass a bit stronger. Uh, it, it grows back stronger basically and uh, improves the yield. So it does have quite a positive effect. Now I do like the fact that it's in Farming Simulator 22. So you don't need to fertilise. You don't need to waste money on buying fertiliser when you can do this. The best time to do this is straight after you've mowed. So if you're mowing a field and then you've bailed it up, pick them bales up out of that field and do this straight away because it will take the growth stage back to the first so if I just quickly show you the menu you can see that it's doing that second stage of fertilizing but what it's also doing is it's returning it back to its first stage of growth so if you do it straight after mowing you're not going to have an impact on the amount of times you can mow your grass in a year so it is better to do that so I'll carry on I'll get this all rolled and then I'll cut back in when the grass is grown back a little bit more and we'll get mowing. Right, so I'll quickly just point this out. We're now in February and the grass, you can see the difference between the two grasses. This is a lot lusher, green, obviously better for cows, better for feed and all that kind of stuff. We've planted this in. Uh, this is the meadow grass, but as you can tell as well, the flowers have gone. So it does have that nice change of texture when it's getting to the winter months and obviously grass is not growing anymore. Uh, so it does change. And as you can see, it kind of looks a little bit paler than it did uh, and all them flowers are out. So I just thought I'd point that out between the two. Uh, but this one, nice and lush, still looks the same. Uh, we're going to wait until it's probably about, if we just have a quick look at the time, uh, we can start harvesting grass again around March time, maybe April. I'll wait till it's about April, so it's a bit warmer. Uh, we'll have a look then, and we might start doing some mowing April, May time. Uh, usually, the, uh, I mean, they start mowing around May maybe at the earliest, June definitely. Uh, you can see again, fertilising, it's all sorted out, so we should get a good yield from this. And uh, yeah, I'll skip time and I'll cut back in uh, when it's a little bit warmer than what it is right now, as you can see. Not the best weather to do some mowing. Right, so it's June time. Good time for mowing. You can see the meadow grass has got back to what we saw before. The flowers are now uh, sprouting out into it. Uh, we don't really want that in our feed. And as you can tell, it's not going to be in our feed for our animals because this is what the texture looks like on this grass that we've planted. This uh, feed grass 
pasture grass, whatever you want to be calling it, um, this is what it looks like. So you can see the difference straight away. Uh, one's a lot more green um, than that one. It's got no flowers in it. And because of that, I expect it to have a better yield. But in all fairness, I haven't actually tested this out before. So this is going to be the first time I test out the comparison. Um, field sizes, like I've pointed out, they are quite similar. Uh, so it's not going to be exact, but it should give us an indication of what they're like. I'd be surprised if this gives us the exact same yield because there's no fertilizer on that uh, to what there is on this. So uh, it's going to be interesting to find out. Now, when we've mowed it, I'm going to pick it up with the forage wagon and we're going to be using the additives. So let's just quickly talk about the additives before we move on to mowing. This stuff here is called silage additive. You can find it in pallet section in the menu. Um, if you go to, there it is, it says Bond Silage Pro Vita Supplements. Now it's 2,990 for 60 litres of this stuff. That's the symbol for it. This can go into some forage wagons, not all. You do get an option. So if you go to your tools and you want to buy a forage wagon, where are they? There they are. This one, for example, won't allow it, but this one can. And this is the one I've got. Now some of them do have this option, but if you go to customize, you can see that it gives you an option for a silage additive tank and you can say yes. Now you do see there that that starts appearing. So it has got its own uh, custom um, objects that are on the actual uh, pieces of kit that we're going to be using this with. Um, but yeah, you do need to have that tank enabled for us to have this silage additive. Now, by putting this in, it gives us a 5% pickup yield. So 5% bonus to pick up. Uh, you can also put it into forage wagons. So when we're doing, um, let's say you're doing some grass silage in a pit and you're going over with a forage wagon, you're mowing, or even if you're picking up like I've got here, so you've done the mowing beforehand, this is gonna add again, 5% uh, 5 bonus. So if we just jump in, I'll fill it up and as you can see, I don't know if you can just make that out, but in the bottom right corner, it's filling up, putting a certain amount of liters in. It's starting to slowly disappear on the pallet. Um, I'll quickly just show you how much this holds. Looking like 20 liters. So there you go. You've got 20 liters of silage additive in this, um, but we want to put it in this, and I'm going to use this on both the fields that we mow. So the ones that's got the meadow grass in uh, and the one that's got the uh, pasture grass slash uh, uh, feeding grass, whatever I'm calling it. Uh, so this should give us more as we're picking this up uh, so hopefully it gives us a good representation because at the end of the day we can still use this on meadow grass as well uh, but again it's going to be a five percent bonus so make sure we do use this obviously if you're using a mower and putting it into bales this is going to be completely irrelevant but still it's there it's an option it gives you a bonus if you want it and depends what way you're doing it um, so yeah think about that when you're uh, mowing your grass and how you're going to pick it up so let's get to the mower I've got quite a few pieces of kit here. There we go, that's the mower. So I do want to try, I know it's going to be difficult, but I do want to try and not mow any of the, the grass around the edges. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop that down first. I'm going to just move it forward a little bit, there we go. press the wrong button let's try that again there we go so that should uh, do the job and it shouldn't take too long it's not the biggest mower but again it's also it doesn't need to be that big now luckily I could have gone a little bit extra there I just want to be really careful when it comes to where I'm mowing and not miss bits because I want it to be a good representation of what we can do. I have missed a bit as well as I said that. Perfect timing. Uh, but this shouldn't take too long, it really shouldn't. So what I'll do is I'll get this mowed up, I'll also get the other side mowed up, I'll cut back in when it's done and you can have a look at the two differences, see if we can visually tell. Right, so there we go. That's both sides mode. Uh, can you see any difference? Does it look like there's more or less in one of them? Now, the texture underneath this one on the right is because I painted out two squares at the start to try and get the same size uh, fields, but then I painted over with the plant uh, tool and to put the grass down. So you can't 
just make out that there is grass growing through that so that texture underneath won't make a difference but it does make it look a little bit different so it might be difficult to see if there's less grass um, but we will find out in a second so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over it with a windrow I'm going to do some up and down rows I'm going to try and do the same amount and then we'll see eventually how much we pick up because the numbers that's what's going to tell us the difference between the two types of grasses um, and if by doing this with the fertilizer and taking care of it with the roller and all that kind of stuff planting it properly uh, taking into account the, the roller that we use there for the five percent buff the five percent buff from the, the loading wagon all that kind of stuff which one's the best and what's the best way to go so i'll crack on with the wind drawing i'll cut back in when i'm in the loading wagon just about to pick up and then that should tell us exactly what the difference is and there we go we've got three rows on each side three big rows um, there isn't too much difference I'm, I'm starting to think there that this grass is going to be quite similar but we'll find out for certain I'd be surprised if it is like I said but it does look quite similar so let's jump in anyway and we'll find out for, for, for sure uh, I'll start off with the grass from this side and we'll see how much the additive goes down uh, I do have to say though look at that texture as that grass is being thrown in that is uh, really good especially at the start as well and then it kind of disappears the more grass is it, that's in there which would make sense uh, because obviously you can't see it anymore it's obviously got the grass over it and I do like that so this is picking up 5% more anyway because you can see the litres going down on the silage additive and so far we're at 8,133 litres so not much in comparison to what you probably get in FS19 um, this uh, it seems like most of the yields on a lot of the stuff that has gone down so we're just about to get to the end um, and there we go so that's this one done So what I'm going to do is just dump it into the middle. But first I'm going to write down, make a note so we don't forget. We've got 12,544 litres from this grass field, this meadow grass field. So I will dump it in the middle. I think it'll look uh, good if it's in the middle. There we go. So that's a big pile of grass, that really is. So next, it's only used 4% as well. Just so you know, it's only used 4% of the silage additive. So let's see now what we pick up from our actual uh, grass that we've planted in and uh, that we're going to be using mainly for the feed and for bales, anything like that. So I'm not 100% certain yet where we're going to be at. It does look similar. But then again, look at that. That is flying up. We got 12,000 last time. We've got one row left to go. So, as you can see, this is a, a definite increase. So, we're already over the 12,000 mark. And we're going to finish off at 18,000. So, there you go. The proof's in the pudding. Let's just put it over here because I do want to do some work just quickly before we end the video but we've got 18,083 litres from the planted grass that we put in that I'm calling feeding grass uh, different texture to it obviously we rolled it uh, we looked after it better um, and by doing so we've we've definitely increased our yields we've gone from 12,544 litres to 18,083 litres which is a big jump that is and it's such a small square patch of area um, you can see the difference that's going to make if you're on a big grass field so let's just dump this over here you can already see that it's a lot more grass to the point that I've nearly got it stuck there we go so I think we can take from this straight away that it makes sense to look after your grass use the grass care uh, equipment that it's on offer in the area in the category that says grass care and by doing so you'll get a bigger yield um, and you can already see on the right hand side how much more you're going to get now i just want to point out this so this is the texture 
of the mowed grass. You can see that it's got like that chopped effect on the grass. Now, I did mention previously that going over it with the roller right after you've mowed it is the most efficient time to do it. Now, I'll show you quickly why that is. So let's just say you're on your farm, it's June, you've just done your first mow. You want to do a second mow, get some hay in. Um, you can see that it says harvested state, um, and then it's got one stage of fertilizer. So if we go over this now with the roller, you'll see that the texture gets darker and it changes. And straight away, we're obviously having an effect on this grass that we've just mowed. Uh, and if I jump out and show you the difference, it is the same texture, but without that chopped effect. So it's kind of like flattened it out. The rollers obviously flattened it down. The chopped effect, which you can see just by the line there has disappeared. And if we quickly open the menu, you can see that it's now fully fertilized. So the best time is definitely straight after mowing to roll the grass to get that full fertilizing buff. Um, and it, again, all you got to do now is pretty much just wait, leave it after you've rolled it um, for it to grow back. Shouldn't take too long. And uh, yeah, we can then mow again. So you, I think we're going to get more chance to mow our grass. Um, remember, at some point though, with us having periodic plowing on it and lime, if you've got periodic plowing on, I'm not sure if it will kick in on this. It should do. Lime will definitely do it. At some point, you're going to have to spread a lime on your fields again. And when precision farming comes out, uh, this is probably going to be all different again. It'll still have the roller um, implemented in it but I don't know if it'll have an effect on fertilizing because technically it is nitrogen but it could give you a boost in yield um, really are we adding nitrogen probably not but we are improving yield because we're making the grass stronger grow back stronger um, by rolling over it so I'm happy with how the video has turned out I'm happy that it's uh, proven the case that the two different types of grass which one performs better and you can see what happens when rolling it um, so yeah hopefully you found the video informative hopefully you found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up that really does help me out and if you've got any ideas of anything else you would like me to do a little video on like a how-to video put it in the comment section i'll have a look and if i get a chance i'll definitely do some more videos like this but on that note i am going to leave the video there so thanks for watching please give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one